Hey guys, I am with my baby girl who's currently uh, helping me to film this video and we're gonna do some Ukrainian traditional pesanke, which is Easter eggs. And we're gonna do a traditional way with wax and these kistki or pesachok it's also called. So it's a tool which you're uh, making your pesanke with. So when you are starting, it's extremely important to get your eggs ready. So I do have a bunch of eggs that I took out of the fridge. They're all whole. I don't blow my eggs because um, in Ukraine there is a tradition. If you give somebody an empty egg, you kind of bring them a bad luck. So I always keep them whole. And here I have an egg. It's about maybe five years old. Can you hear that? So it's all dry up now. And they're all fine. You just leave them be and that's it. So these eggs I've done last year and they're still, I can still feel the yolk inside. It's up to you, either you boil your eggs but then you can save them or you keep them whole or you blow them out, that's fine. But before you start um, working with your egg, you need to take a little bit, I have a little bit of white vinegar in here. So I'll put it on the paper towel and I get my egg ready and I do that because I want to get rid of all the oil that I have on my hands. There you go and try not to touch your egg or touch it as not often I would say. Okay now my egg is ready and I can start working on my design. So here I have my kistka or pesachok. Um, it does come in three different sizes. That's a small one. So it's a fine lines, medium, and that's a big one. Right now I will start with a um, really tiny one. So what you want to do is collect a little bit of wax and it has to be 100% wax. Um, you hold it like this, let it melt, and it's always nice to check a bit if it's working, if it's a smooth line. Most of the time, I just divide my egg in half. Steady line. Well, hopefully it's gonna be steady. So whatever I am covering with wax right now, these lines will stay white. So it's up to you how much white you want to leave. Most of the time I'm just doing a basic division of the egg and white and then I put it into another color. <clears throat> you also, not any kind of dye you can use for eggs, it's a special dye and um, paint spots which is art supply store in Edmonton, they do carry it, you can still get some. So I divided my egg this way, and I will also divide it in half this way. If you're not sure and this is your first time, you can also use pencil and kind of mark, mark your lines slightly. This is mostly traditional way of uh, dividing it's traditional Ukrainian way, but basically you can do any kind of design you want. It's up to you. When it comes to traditional Ukrainian eggs, every element and every color in uh, Easter eggs, pesanki, it does matter. So you're pretty much creating a story. So for example, there is, if um, there was a pregnant woman and she wanted her baby to be healthy, she would paint a lot of flowers in her pesanke. So I'm just dividing and I will create a star. Just keep in mind, whatever you do right now in on the white, white background, it will stay white. So 
So as you can see, you always want to make sure that the wax in your kiska is always melted. Um, if it gets drier, then you're gonna get a broken line. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the other side of the egg and I will be ready to put my egg in the yellow dye. Here I have my egg ready and it's ready for the yellow dye. So basically I have about, what, seven colors in here. Um, and you want, it's almost like a batik style if you know what it is. You're going from light colors and going to the dark colors. So whatever you uh, you coloring in, the, in, for example, I'm gonna put in yellow. After that, I'm going to cover with wax everything that I want to keep in yellow. So right now, we'll just put our egg gently into the yellow dye. And it should probably stay there a couple of minutes to get a nice, vibrant color. So let's keep it there for now. Okay, so now my egg is bright and yellow, nicely done. And now I'm ready to cover my next design. So whatever I'm gonna cover with wax right now will stay yellow. So now we'll start being creative. Um, let's do some petals. I'm still working with a fine kistka. You wanna make sure that your lines are not broken because whenever there is, see it's in this area, it's a little bit crooked. That means the, um, the yellow dye is not going to be in there. So make sure you cover it really well. So basically be creative about this. Um, I will finish my design and then I will be ready for my next color. So I added some more design, some petals in here. That's all will stay yellow. So now I want to add just a little bit, few um, accents of light blue. So instead of covering the whole egg in blue, if it's just accents, what you can do is take a Q-tip and for example, I want to introduce some dots. So you can just mark them down here. You don't have to dye the whole egg. So I will do that. And afterwards, take the axis out. This kind of becomes a turquoise color. that and now I'm switching to a bigger tool which is the thick kistka so just to show you comparison this was a small one this is a thick one and I will cover my dots So I covered my blue areas, and now I'm going to put my egg into the red color, light red color. See, if I want it to stay quite on the orangey, really light side, um, then you can take it out right away. But if you wanted a really, really bright red color, then you can leave it for longer. But because I'm planning to put my egg in the darker red color, I prefer to keep it quite light. Like that. So these areas where I had them marked uh, with blue color, light blue, stayed blue. Well, like they kind of look green right now, but it's all under the wax. All right. Now I'm switching back to my heavy big pussy chalk and I'm going to cover 
uh, the area that are will eventually stay light red color so whenever you want to leave that bright red you are going to cover with a heavy kistka So now I'm ready to put in my last um, dark red color. So for this one, I want to keep it a little bit longer inside. Let it marinate slightly. Okay, I'm ready to cover this dark red color. Whenever I'm going to apply it, it will stay dark red. And then I'm putting my uh, egg in the final color, which is black. So black should be always the last one or any dark color should be the last one. So after I cover this, this egg will go into the black dye. So I took my egg out of the final black dye, but as you can see, it all covered in wax. So you cannot see well the, co the colors. So now I'm going to take the wax off the egg. So you gotta move quickly, heat it up, and then quickly take the wax off. You need to be gentle because, especially if you're using the whole egg, it might crack. Use fast motions, heat it up slightly, and then take it off. Now I took the wax off. As you can see, it's bright and shiny. And I can add this egg to my collection.